Welcome to the show. I don't know if you can see. Can you see it? Check the thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay. Welcome to episode number 12 of the weekend show starring Curtis. In the previous episode, we told about different uh, YouTube stories of stuff and what was special at making a video 3000. And also different diecast car reviews to talk about. So coming in the next video, Casey will share his thoughts on some of these cars. And um, we'll go in-depth with the art of reviewing and unboxing, which I have many experiences with. So let's get straight to it. Uh, welcome here to the segment of me and the chair with Casey. And uh, here's Chris. Show okay, so in the previous episode, because this is the next episode, in the previous episode we discussed um, different cars and reviewing of products and different stuff. So here are the cars from the previous episode. Um, so we got a bunch of them, like I said. We got Terry Labonte, Bobby Labonte, Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, two Jeff Gordon. We got Ward Burton, uh, Bobby Labonte, Dale Jarrett, Kevin Harvick, Sterling Marlin, another Jeff Gordon, and T.D. Hunt Jr. So, reviewing stuff has always been something that I've done on my channel. Um, from multiple Beyblades. It's, we have here, like, this one, Samurai, if we whatever the hell that thing's called. To, um, the Wii U and the PlayStation. And the Xbox, well, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 360. To now, what it is is a NASCAR diecast cars. So, last week I reviewed the diecast car, the uh, 88 car. Actually, I'm gonna go get that for a second. So, Casey, why don't you start explaining, like, about when you did your Beyblade unboxing, what you thought was important to talk about in each one? Well, I thought um, that what was most important about each one is that you like they focused on the topic of what the item is. So for with Beyblade, you stay on the topic of Beyblade, specifically that Beyblade. Um, so like, I mean, you can branch off into different subjects. Don't like go into a lot of different things though, and uh, that's the most important. I think. I think I agree with that. I think that if you stay on topic of what it is, like for a Beyblade, you know, you explain what each part does. Like this bottom part makes it spin, and the middle part does some other bullshit. I don't remember half the stuff anymore. But, you know, it's something along those lines of you know what each part will do and what makes each thing special. For those and for the cars, I think what it is is really staying on top of the paint scheme, telling about what the driver. Where they're running this race, you know, how they do with each car. And that's what's important to talk about for each of these cars is what was special with the car and all that stuff. But previously, I did a very important review of the 2008 car here. The number 88 uh, National Guard Mountain Dew. Well, the Mountain Dew National Guard uh, car. So here is moving wheels and everything. The roof flaps that pop up. So really, they got in detail with this. So I thought what was very important about this car was explaining the details of what was special about the paint scheme, what was special about the car, what each like part does, what the roof flaps do, important, what the back of the car, like opening up, what you can see inside, what you can see inside here, the wheels can move, so getting really in detail with this review is what was important. So if you want to actually hold this case in for a second, you can take a look at it. But um, I think that this car here definitely is a very important type thing to like go over, like what this little piece right here means. That's very important to the 60th anniversary of NASCAR, and what each little sponsorship <coughs> here does. So I think this is very important to go over that kind of a. Uh, detail with the thing, like that the window net is actually made of, um, yeah, it's a mesh type netting instead of plastic, so really getting 
in detail with the product can also be important. And that's the same with like a video game system explaining, you know, what games they have, what features they can do on the stuff. So that's really the part of reviewing that I think is important. So in your time of, you don't really do much of the review on your channel of videos, but I know you did a few. So why don't you explain what you sort of like doing about the reviews, like what made you want to do the reviews? Uh, well, I've done an interesting short off the, the, um, the items. Yeah. Like, feature, what they do, like, unboxing it in front of the audience that was interested in the product. Yeah. I, for me, Beyblade unboxings were very fun. I enjoyed doing them a lot, especially the Japanese ones. Now, my favorite <laughs> Japanese ones, I did like a lot of the, um, Zero G. Uh, like the Pegasus one, the Shinobi Cyberman. I did like doing those um, a lot. But I did like the, uh, what is that, the mystery package? The mystery one? The random... Do a mystery? No, remember the random one that you could get one of the eight in it? One of the nine? And the little box? Remember that they had like... Yeah, it would come in a small box and they could... you get a different assortment of parts and whatever you get would be like a different one. Is that a Beyblade Japanese thing? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I do remember that. I remember you got one of them which had the, uh... I don't remember what then, but those are fun. Yeah. I enjoyed doing those. Uh, I only got to do one. I know you did one, too. But... They were fun. They were definitely a fun thing to do. Because I like sort of opening of a product and not really knowing what you're going to get, but you still know it's going to be something cool. Cause, you know, sometimes you can, like... One prize it could be something lame inside the package, but with that, even though it might have been a mixture of like terrible parts, you still know that it was cool that you got to go into something and it was all like blacked out packaging and like you know how all the thing came so you couldn't see what it is until you opened it. That was really fun. Didn't you get the one that had the uh, elevator thing on the track? You remember that thing with the when it would go and it would like rise up the stadium wall? What was it called? Uh, something. But you know what I'm talking about, right? It had the same track as the separate with the little gears. It had the little gears sticking out of it. And it was like this tall. And it had the things that along it. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? I remember that thing, though. That was... What was it called? The... It's something Phoenix, though. Whatever it was, but it was still cool. Uh, yeah, but that's sort of like that. This We're talking about stuff that we did like three years ago. <laughs> that's when you still had your room upstairs in your house. Yeah, I remember that. I remember when you got the Zero G Stadium and then we battled them like five times and we got the Stupid, yeah. stupid pockets. No, this is Steven. That was fun! I know. I have all my stadiums in my closet, too. I have all my videos. If I, if I decided that I wanted to battle right now, I could. I have everything in that closet that I need. Right at the bottom, I got all my videos in a box, besides the one that I have out. I have, I think I actually have a launcher in here. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have the stadium up top. I could battle right now if I wanted to. Oh, I remember when they came out with this in here, and it came with a little tool with it. Yeah, that was good. They came with a tool on the launcher. That was... Yeah, I felt about that. For those of you that have wanted to watch NASCAR video, this has sort of turned into um, rehashing things that we talked about years ago. <laughs> I always sit here and think, what would if I did one more battle? And I think, that's stupid, you idiot. And I sit and think of it again. Do you ever think of that? What if you did one more video of it? Because it was so much of a big thing on my channel that I just... I know that I'm past doing it, because I'm not like, Fuck, we're gonna battle right now, but you know, I still think like... Isn't Beyblade... Wasn't one of your Beyblade videos the most popular on your channel? Yeah, they were for a while. Once from last year, the Mo Control Cards got to the top, though. The Sister Elementary Mo Control Cards, those are the top two. But I had... I had one that I did with the Bay Wheels. 
I launched the Bay Wheel into a stadium <laughs> with Guardian and Riser at the top of it, end of battle. And that was the second most, that was the second most watched video on my channel for like a while. And I did Hades Curve X and Cyclone Hercules for, a, that was the top for a while. But um, yeah, but it's always sort of like, what if I did one more video? One more battle? Then I really did properly finish it. You know what I mean?